this is Gina Michelle at You Caught Me Crafting and my voice is going to be a little extra husky and quiet today because my daughter and I both caught colds. We don't have fevers or anything, we're fine, just a lot of sore throats and things like that so turn the volume up a little bit. I promise I won't surprise you with the jump scare or anything but I'm sorry if I'm a little extra quiet and hard to understand today. I'll try to be as clear as possible because I adore this artwork. And you know I always put a member of BTS and I almost put Hobie because the title is a tiny bit similar to Hobie but Namjoon is releasing Indigo soon. Namjoon is a member of BTS and he's releasing an, an album soon for people who aren't fans of BTS, just to explain. So, of course, my next couple of sneak peeks are going to have pictures of Namjoon because he deserves them and he's wonderful. And the artwork, you can see it's around and it is called Heidi. See, not quite Hobie, but huh. I thought Nanjun would be perfect with his colorful, his colorful shirt matching all of the colors in the picture. See, it's by Camilla or Camilla, but I'm just gonna say Camilla. I apologize if that's incorrect. Camilla de Erico, and I have messaged her about this artwork, but she has hundreds of thousands of followers so we'll see if I hear back if I do before I finish editing this of course like I always do I'll edit, I'll edit it in and if I hear back after it'll be in a pinned comment below and it's 68.7 centimeters by 55.8 and I cannot wait to see this it actually goes like this she has three dragons in her hair. Let's just open this on up because I am so excited. Bye, Namjoon. Good luck with Indigo. It's going to be incredible. Excuse the noise. Where's my kit? It's on the other side. <laughs> but here is our second sticker. And this is a sticker that you can use if you're kidding up or if you want to go ahead and buy this but keep it in the box. These are poured glue so they will last for years. And this just helps you identify it without having to open up the box. Okay, so here's why. All Diamond Art Club kits come with this. It's just a thank you for your purchase. Tips and tricks. A coupon code. Here's the VIP Facebook group and I will have everything linked below. And there's what's included in your kit. And on the back, here if you download the Diamond Art Club app on your phone, you'll get 20% off of your first purchase through the app. And also, if you're new to Diamond Art Club, welcome. It's amazing. And I do have a code for first time buyers. It's just you caught me crafting right here for $10 off of your first purchase. So if you've never bought anything before and you see something you've loved during Black Friday or in any of these sneak peeks or this gorgeous artwork, Feel free to use that code. There's no pressure ever. I always want to reiterate that. Okay, before I show you, remember this is a round toolkit. It's not going to have tweezers. Tweezers only come with the square kits because people use tweezers to place drills. I'm awful at it, but some people can place them so quickly with tweezers, but if you get a round kit and there are no tweezers, that's not a mistake. They just do not come with round kits because they're not needed. You get a bag of baggies. 
You can get up in these, put spares in here if you want to keep them. You can put trash drills in here, just anything you'd like. You'll get a cute heart container with two or three dark red hearts of wax, which is what you'll use to diamond paint. You'll get a matching sparkly pen with a little squeegee here for your fingers so they don't look like mine when you diamond paint a lot. And yes, I am a lefty. Comment if you're a lefty or a righty or ambidextrous. You'll get a 4 and a 7 multi-placer, which you just put at the end of your pen like that. Your tray or boat, whatever you like to call it, with a plug, and it has gold glitter, and they're just so well made. And last but not least, you'll get a random cute washi tape to tape up your painting. And I do have a video on how, to, how I washi tape up paintings. I go for really large paintings, so you can watch that if you'd like to. And look how cute this is. Then you also get a cover minder. And what that is, is you'll have clear paper, you'll see when I show you the canvas. And this is if you want to peel it back, this will hold it. And you'll peel back the plastic, and then you can use this magnet. And you just put that under the plastic. And that'll hold the plastic back until you're done. Then you take it off and cover it back up. So if you have pets or kids or just dust. I live in Texas, so we have a lot of pollen and just dust. You just don't want that getting in your glue. So always keep it covered. And that is what we had in our toolkit. So I'm going to go ahead and put all of this away. We will look at the sticker sheet. Then we'll look at the canvas and the colors and then the ABs. I'm so excited. So be right back. And here is our sticker sheet. So this is the one that I use for my logbook. But you have start date, end date, and again it's all on a sticker sheet. So everything here, like your colors, 63 colors, they're already cut so you can kick up so easily. And anything under 150 is an, is an AB, so we have four ABs, and I'll show you where those go on the canvas. We have the artist here. Please only buy licensed artwork. Diamond Art Club only sells licensed artwork, but if you are buying from somewhere else, please do make sure that they sell licensed artwork. I talk to these artists and they're so incredibly kind and it hurts them, not just financially, but it's their work being stolen, you know? So just think about that and I'm not trying to shame anyone. I understand financial issues and things like that, but just when you can, please try to buy legally licensed artwork. We have the round shape, the size, here is the artwork close up. How stunning is it? looks like a she, right? Could be a he. Or are they? Who knows? I mean, we have dragons, so it's fantastical. There are butterflies and a blue string. This is just stunning. I might kind of research the name Heidi. And I'll insert little notes around here as we look at the canvas if I find anything interesting about, you know, where they might have gotten the idea for this artwork. But I adore it. The dragons are adorable. The color palette is perfect and the background is stunning. So, let's go ahead and look at this canvas. You can always tell the top because it says do what makes you sparkle. 
So that's how I was like, where is that? <laughs> to make sure that I'm opening it the correct way. And you will have a legend on the bottom right and the top left. If you want to, you know, keep part of it rolled up so you're not overwhelmed. And I do also have a video on that, <laughs> which I can link. You know, it's just to help you guys out. You don't have to watch them or anything. These are just videos I made because they're videos I watched when I first started and I just kind of added a little bit of my own spin to them. I have the 63 legend right here. Here's that gorgeous background. I'm sorry about the glare, but I will move it around. Look at these stunning, stunning hand rendered dragons. Diamond Art Club, they do hand rendering, their own drills in house, and they're even upgrading their square drills to add more facets. But look at this gorgeous detail. At the bottom, we have the artist name, measurements, Diamond Art Club. There's their social media, which again, all of this is linked below. And there's that legend at the top that I told you about. And just look at this. Someone went through and chose where every pixel and color would go. And it's just amazing. And I think they're even talking about adding more colors. So don't quote me on this yet, but I have heard them talking about just to make the pictures even more close to the artwork, they might be adding some colors. And where I think that would really, really change things, you know, in a whole new ball, ballpark or ball game, or I'm not good at sports analogies, but skin tones. I would love to have a bigger variety of skin tones and that because diversity is amazing and sometimes it can look a little strange, you know? But skin tone is so hard, so I understand, but I would love if they would add some more colors for that. This gorgeous person with big, beautiful lips. This cute green dragon. Two more up here. So kind of Daenerys vibes from Game of Thrones. This dragon's eating a butterfly. Poor butterfly, but it's a circle of life. And now, I'm going to go ahead and pull the colors out. And then I'll cut the ABs out and show you where they go. I'll just point like this. It won't take too long, don't worry. And then, that's it. How stunning is this? So here are the gorgeous colors, 63 of them. And let's go ahead and go through them. We'll start with the smaller ones and make our way towards the big multiple bags in the back. 3712, 7061, 3333, 3822, 3731, and 3722. 141, our first AB. See how it's extra shiny? 3345. 783, 3864, 3820, some, some little travelers from 3808, 760, 3776, 437, 3779, 101, another AB, and 3819, 301, 3821, 100, third AB, 400, 334, 598, and 895, 
803, 413, 434, 435, 388, 993, and 950, 945, will be one, two, three, and four. So let's see where our ones are. And I can't zoom in too much or you won't be able to see, you know, the whole painting. I'll zoom in a little bit. And let's see, I'm going to look where the green is. So just, oh. <laughs> That's a little better, so just wherever my finger is, that lighter part, those are ones, and they go all up this dragon's back. So this is actually from light above, so I can't do anything about it, but they go up here, and then they split off into two lines right here. And don't worry, at the end, I show you the canvas up close, so you'll be able to see everything. Let's see. There we go. So, here and here. There are ABs right here. So this whole dragon has green ABs alongside it. So cute. And then we have this gorgeous blue. And I always say if I miss some, that's just more for you to find. So twos. Let's look up here, I'm guessing, right? I'm trying to get it away from the glare. see twos mainly in the dragon's head. They're lighter blue up here. And there's some here and here. There we go. So like here and up here where the little, I guess, hair is, those are blues. There's some here. Those twos. So they're 
on the dragon's face. Let's see if they're anywhere else. There are four right there. <laughs> That's what hand rendering does. And I hit the tripod. What did I say? Always. That's, but what I was saying is that's what's so great about hand rendering is you get special touches like that. They just really pay attention to the artwork. But I don't see any more twos. If I do, of course, I'll point them out. Three. We have... 106 is beige cream AB. Let's see. So just follow my finger and Honestly, I'm going to go ahead and do three and four at the same time because I'm noticing they're right next to each other. So three and four. I'll show you what I mean. Here, this is a line of four. And then, if we go towards her back, the threes are almost basically the same color as the fours, which again I'll show you. But there are threes and fours all around here, side by side. There are threes and fours here. Try to stay away from that glare. Let's go look over here in her gorgeous face. Right here we have threes and fours in this whole area. Also, up here, threes and fours. Threes and fours, threes and fours all throughout here, and a couple up here. So basically all of this, threes and fours. Then we go over to the dragons. The butterflies. There are threes and fours in this butterfly. There are fours in this poor little butterfly who's getting eaten, and there are threes over here on the other side of the butterfly. And then, I might have shown you, but again, threes and fours all down here. So, it's really good that I showed you those together because they really are side by side throughout the whole painting. And I'm going to go ahead and take off my camera and show you just how clear these symbols are. And you can see the one, two, three, and four, those ABs up real close. Just one second. There are fours in this poor little butterfly who's getting eaten. And there are threes over here on the other side of the butterfly. And then... I might have shown you, but again, threes and fours all down here. So, it's really good that I showed you those together because they really are side by side throughout the whole painting. And I'm going to go ahead and take off my camera and show you just how clear these symbols are. And you can see the one, two, three, and four, those ABs up real close. Just one second. 
Sorry if you can hear my daughter's iPad. Here's the right side, the background, and you can see there's multi-placing, but you'll never get bored. You'll be changing colors. And here, we go to this dragon. You can see those fours. See them right there? And then threes. Wherever there are threes, there are fours close by. There are ones. Those green colors, then also four, fours, and threes. See? The threes and the fours are always very close together. Here's her lower half, here's her hand, so many colors, and as we move up, sorry about the shaky cam, I'm trying to keep it as clear as possible, threes, and fours of course, Here's her beautiful face, those big lips, we move up, can't see her eyes, but we keep going towards the, the kind of, looks like feathers or wings, and you see threes here. My daughter is ready to paint her nails. I painted them yesterday. And here's just more of her hair. Remember, it goes all the way up here, those threes. Threes up here, and then also fours. Up here, you can see threes and fours leading to a butterfly. Threes and fours, see, and then there are fours here. And I mean, look at all of these threes and fours. Very, very close to each other. Then, this dragon. There we go. You can see those twos. Just a couple. Below him there are a couple of threes, bottom right, and a four. That big blue dragon, and you can see his tongue is sticking out. <laughs> and below him, there's another butterfly with threes and fours. Here is another dragon. And you can see threes. There's a one minute eye. I won't point out all of the ABs. I'm just trying to show you how clear and gorgeous this canvas is. How stunning is that? Let me get close and clear these up for you. See how clear these symbols are? So clear. And I'm actually going to get this up and start working on it. I'm probably going to focus on the dragons because that's such an exciting part. And I really hope that you've enjoyed the sneak peek so far. I will go ahead and start getting this up. Sorry if it was a little shaky and not so clear, but 
you'll be able to see more as I paint this. I'm so excited. What should I name these guys? Really, I'd love to know what would you, if you were, not Daenerys, but if you had three dragons, what would you name them? Especially if they look like these guys. nine a.m. Eastern Standard Time and that is I think general release if you are a diamond member go ahead and check your email and they usually send out emails for events this big anyway so I would just keep notifications on emails on anything like that and I just wanted to show you look this one's eating this butterfly and I wish I could have got a little bit more filled in, but I kind of like this because it gives you an idea of how gorgeous it is, but without spoiling it so when you're finished you can see exactly what it looks like. And I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful, wonderful Diamond Art Club Black Friday. I hope that all of us have some money left by the end of this. And I do hope that you get the painting that you want or that it's not limited edition. Thank you so much for watching my videos. This is all because of you guys. Look how stunning. So, as I always say, you know, just be kind to others. Be kind to yourselves. It's Thanksgiving, so maybe forgive someone today that you might not have thought to before or even more important forgive yourself like I forgave myself for not finishing these dragons and I saw a positive because now you can see just how stunning but you'll still get to actually see the final product with you working on them I mean look at these precious faces and I am going to research Heidi, the name of the painting, and I will put it in a little note during the video, but I will see you guys so very soon. Enjoy Thanksgiving. If you don't celebrate it, just enjoy. It's almost the weekend, so enjoy your weekend. Just enjoy your life. I care about you very much, and I'll see you guys so soon. Say goodbye to the dragons. <laughs>